Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Gloria Victus video. This one is going to be on... To be fair, it's going to be on the issues with the game. There's a lot of stuff in this game that really, really needs fixing. And these are just my opinions, so don't hate on the video, don't hate on me. You know, everyone has their own opinions. These are my opinions, so there's no need to get aggressive. I know some people will. Regardless of me saying this, but you know, it's just how it is. So anyway, there'll be timestamps in the description below if you want to jump to a certain part of the video. But let's get on with it and I hope you enjoy the video guys. Alright, so the first thing I want to cover is the name tags. I think they've done an absolutely terrible job with this. Um, I'm going to pull up a clip now uh, as you can see like in these big sieges there's just name tags act, name tags absolutely everywhere and it just clutters your screen so bad uh, there's a game that I used to play um, about a year well a couple of year ago well I've been, I stopped playing it last year uh, called Mortal Online I think they, they did this really well uh, there's a clip up now so you can see how it works as you can see no one has a name tag above the head, but if you aim at someone, it will show you their health bar and tell you their name and what guild they're in. But it's not above everyone's heads, so, you know, I think that adds more realism to it because you've got to look at each individual person. Obviously, if you were fighting in the olden days, you wouldn't just look at someone and it'd say friendly over the head. You'd have to look at him and think, right, he, you know, he's a friendly, he's one of my guys. You know, you would have to use your eyes. So I think this is a really good way on how we did this. And I think Glory of Victus would benefit from using this type of method. Um, yeah, I just think it's a, it works a lot better. It adds a little bit more, you know, realism to the, to the fighting. And, you know, you've got to be a little bit more careful with your shots. Obviously, a Mortal Online friendly fire is always enabled. On this, it isn't. Um, I do like that about this. But yeah, I, do, I still think that method would be a lot better than how they have it. Um, here's one more issue with the way they do it. If you look here, this guy, I would have never had spotted, spotted him, enemy or not, I would have never had spotted him, but because of how the uh, how it works, I see him extremely easy. All right, so the next part, a main menu button. Holy crap, why, <laughs> why, is they no, why isn't there a main menu button? I have three characters on this game and I have to close the game down every time I want to change characters. And when I have two characters set up in certain areas where I fight certain mobs to make money, you know, materials, stuff like that, and I jump on them probably once an hour. So every hour that means I have to close the game three times because I have to close it, switch to one character, do my bit on that, close it, switch to another character, do my bits on that, then close it again and come back to my main character and carry on. And then obviously at the end of the night, I need to switch, close the game, reopen it, bring him to Capital, put all my uh, new stuff up for sale, you know, do it again, then do it again to get back onto my main, finish what I'm doing on that, then uh, then I log off for the night. But yeah, I have to close the game down a lot on a daily basis with this game. And may, I have no idea why it's not there, but it really needs to be implemented. Please, for the love of God, add a main menu button. All right, so on to the third thing, <coughs> uh, the HUD for this game. The, you can't do anything with it. I'd like to see some options for changing certain parts of the HUD. Like this, I can hide this, that's really nice, but I don't actually want to hide this. I just want to get rid of all this background stuff. Um, like these up here in the top left, I can't move these anywhere and I don't like I have to turn my head to look up I'd like to like pull these down to probably the bottom right or the bottom left or the top um, The bar the quick bar at the bottom um, There's all this unnecessary background. I'd like, you know, just some hot options like the option to make stuff transparent You know what I mean? Like so you can't see it I, Again, I'll go on to more online. I'll show another example of their hot bar. You know, you've got your 10 options and then there's just nothing behind it and it just looks so much nicer for when you're fighting you know what i mean like i don't want crap cluttered all over my all over my screen you know it's a medieval game i want i want to be immersed in the game so i'd like to see some options for 
the hood. You know, I want to move some stuff about. I want to make certain things transparent and stuff like that. That's not a huge issue, but it's just something I'd like to see. Not everyone would like to see that, but me personally, I would like to see that. All right, the next part would be first person animations. Uh, some of them are a bit of a mess, as you can see with the bow. The arrow doesn't line up with the crosshair at all, and you know, the arrow just kind of goes higher for some reason. Uh, some of the rope on the right side disappears. When you've not got the bow pulled back, if you look down, the, the rope isn't actually with the arrow, even though it is when you look at it in third person, and the arrow is pulled a lot further back than when it should be, it just looks really weird. Uh, so, the swords are alright, you can't really tell if you're attacking left or right though, it's, it's a bit weird, it'd just be nice to get some proper first, first person animations, it's not a huge deal, but it would be nice. Obviously these are all just small improvements but they'd make the game a, look, a much smoother and better experience. And I just think it'd be something that'd be good to be looked at. Uh, if you look at the blocking, the centre's fine, left's fine, right's fine. It's just when you're switching from left to right, it just does this weird... Yeah, you can see it on the screen now anyway. I, I don't know what all that's about. But yeah, some first person animations would be nice. Little things. So the first thing I want to start off with is the quiver. It literally just hovers off of your character. It's not attached to him at all. It's literally just hovering. I think the easiest way to solve this problem would be if you turned it sideways and put it on your lower back so then you won't have to change any of the animations either because your hand would, your hand would still be going to where the quiver is. I'll show you an example here. Um, I used to use this mod for Skyrim that did this and it does look much better than just a floating quiver that does, literally doesn't move. It's, re it's, it's really weird. Uh, the minimap. If you look onto the minimap, let me zoom in. Actually, let me zoom out here. Yeah. You can see a lot of the icons are exactly the same. You've got these two swords, all these swords here, and all of these are different shops. As you see, armory, cloth, and you know, this one's the market. And for some reason, they're all the same. Like, I, I have no idea why that is. Um, but yeah, like different icons for different things on the mini map. Uh, another one, the actual map. I think this looks great. Um, I would like to see, like, these quests here, these uh, side quests or whatever. Um, I've noticed like there's one up here that I do and it only shows up when I'm around this area, when I get to about here. No, actually when I get up this hill, so when I'm about here, that's when it'll show up. This should show up all the time. If you can do it, then it should show up. Um, like anywhere on the map, so then people can see where side quests are and they can go do them. It's going to get people to explore the map a lot more and I think that's, all, that's always a good thing. That is always a good thing. Another one with the map, there's no information whatsoever, so I think this is fine how it is. But when I zoom in on a town, like this now, after zooming in so much, it would be nice if I could get icons for each individual, each individual thing so I can see where stuff is and I can be like, alright, that shop's there, I need to run straight on, take a left, boom. You know what I mean? That, that would be a lot better because then people are going to be able to look on the map and that's going to be able to be able to use the map properly. Uh, there's no information on the map. I think it'd be really good for if you could just see the side missions all the time and if you could zoom in on stuff and actually get a proper look into towns so you could, newer players can find stuff easier. I've been playing a few weeks now so I'm starting to figure out where most stuff is but at the start it was very frustrating for trying to figure out certain things and where certain stuff were. It was a very frustrating experience for me. Respawning. Every time you respawn, you take 4 damage. It's like 10% of your health. And maybe more, I think it's like actually 13, 14%. I, I have no idea why that's in the game. I, honestly, there's so many ways you can fix it as well. You can make it so you have to drop a little bit more to take 4 damage. You could lower these buildings a little bit. You could lower these platforms a little bit. You could put a, a hay bale at the bottom that you can land on top of. You know, there's a hundred ways you can fix that. I have no idea why it's in game and I have no idea why it's not been fixed yet. This, that should have been fixed straight away. No idea why it's there. Uh, clipping on the armor. Um, it's not a huge issue, you know what I mean? Not at all in the slightest bit, but I see a lot of stuff that could be very, 
very easily fixed. Like for one, this top that I'm wearing, what's the name of this? This is the legend, legendary robe. Um, just you see all this bottom, this like tan skirt bit. That's doing all of the clipping. Just straight up, just remove that part of the armor. It looks horrible. And it causes all the clipping problems, you know what I mean? Like my legs are literally sticking through it. Why is that even part of the armor? The longer you leave this, the more armor you put in, the bigger the job's gonna be later on down the line. So you're better off starting to do little tweaks here, there and everywhere with each patch. And then, you know, it'll just eventually clean, like, you know, all the armor will clean up. Um, even my shield here, look, if I pull out my bow um, and aim down, it's fine. Now, if I'm just running along, it just looks, it looks horrible. It's not immersive at all. Alright, so for the last part, the very last part, I know a lot of people are 50-50 on this. I would really like to see mounts. Um, I'm running up to a battle now, it's, you know, I've been running for about five minutes, I've got another five to ten minutes worth of running. And, you know, if they just had some mounts in, you could half that time just make, by making them go, well, not half the time, but to make them run 50% faster than a player or something. I'd say the best the best way for this game to do it would probably be how Elder Scrolls Online does it. They don't have no mounted combat or anything like that, they are strictly just for moving around the map. And if you are hit once, you are instantly dismounted and your mount disappears. Um, I wouldn't say make the mount disappear. Uh, I'd say, like, instead of everybody having their own individual mount, you could probably put, like, you know, a mount spawn here, a mount spawn there, something like that, you know, just outside each town, a mount spawn here, one here. And just have, like, so many mounts so not everybody can run up and get them. You know, like, maybe five or something with a 30 second respawn timer on it. So when someone jumps on, it takes 30 seconds for another one to come. But if you get hit once, then you will be dismounted. So then, also, you haven't got to develop mounted combat. I don't think mounted combat would suit this game anyway. But I think mounts would really suit it. Because <laughs> like, there, there is a lot of running about that you have to do. And I just think mounted combat would really, really help counter a lot of the running. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, let me know you what you'd like to see in the game. What changes you'd like to see. In the comments below let me know your opinions on this video what you liked what you didn't like again in the comments below hit that like button hit that sub button i'll see you in the next one guys peace out couple more minutes we're nearly there we're nearly there